Whew, okay. Um, I really don't know what I'm doing with this video. There's um, next to no intention behind it. I'm stuck at the moment. I um I've spent too long a portion of my life caring about either the situation or ugh, I don't even know how to put it into words. I'm, a, I'm afraid to progress. Like in, like I'm not sitting here thinking about killing myself, even just saying that out loud, fucking sends a, sends a jolt to my heart, do I? And it's feels directionless at the moment. I can't. I can't seem to find excitement in, in anything I the the happiness of a pursuit of, of something. It just doesn't seem to just doesn't seem to ignite anything in my heart at the moment. That ah, fuck it, maybe I'm depressed. Be nice to have a, a stamp of it as something. I worry about my parents. They're getting pretty old right now getting ready they're coming into their 60s soon i'm sitting here i'm 32 years old as i record this i'll be 33 this year september 3rd 2024 i'll be 33 years old i don't feel like a 33 year old i feel like a lost 15 year old I think back to any time I've done something towards my career or whatever it was. Very rarely feel like I actually made choices that were fully my own. I've been like this state I'm in right now for months. Just I can't seem to find a meaning and a, a joy in what I'm doing at the moment. thought about becoming a barista thought about training to become a barista and finding joy in serving people really nice cups of coffee and just being like here I hope it makes your day you know I, I hope it puts a, a smile 
on your face. Uh, I, I, you know, make a really nice snow inside out and just be like, you know what? I'd get a lot of joy just knowing that someone is enjoying something that I, that I gave them, you know? If, you know, maybe it's something I do decide to do. I've been a software developer now for seven years. It's tough. It's mentally draining. The amount of meetings you got to do, the amount of things you got to keep on top of, and the ever-evolving landscape of it all is super fucking interesting. I was more than I could feel like I could keep on top of. This feels like one of the hardest things in my life to say right now. I'm sitting here trying to assess, you know, weigh the the value of the money and stuff. <sighs> One thing I haven't allowed myself to accept is the fact that I'm 32 years old and I'm out of my two brothers, both younger and older. I am still with my parents. I've never been good with my finances. Actually, that's not true, really. I do have a good amount of savings right now. Say as I record this, over 60,000 euro saved. Over seven years, roughly 10 grand saved a year. That's pretty good. You could live off. You could live off that for seven years. You spend it carefully. Well, you know, assuming you're in a very fortunate position that I'm in right now, where uh, I, don't, I I I pay the internet bills here. I, I don't pay a, a rent my, my parents do not charge me a rent I'm a I'm quite a lot more fortunate than others I wonder if my Asperger syndrome is playing an impact on this or playing it you know having an impact on this playing an effect on this whatever the whatever the fuck you want to call it I have not been this unhappy for this long at any point in my life. <sighs> I need to build my confidence back up. I need to Except that this is where I am in my life right now. That there is a way out of this. That isn't fucking offing myself. <laughs> I've been going to therapy. She's been really good. Um, I go see her in two more days now, actually, to update her on the latest uh latest is of this is that i just hit a bit of burnout um i'm, I'm off work at the moment technically sick leave it's great um you trying to use that time to unwind and take a assessment of my mental state um Like I mentioned with the barista thing, I've been I've been considering making career shifts. Um, don't know. I uh, I 
I ultimately have the um, the power to to choose what it is that I decide to uh, to do. It's my choice. I have all the power. I, it's all in my control. Whether I do it right or whether I do it wrong, it at least it will at least be mine. A lot of people that lifts them up. I'm definitely super down on myself at the moment. I don't give enough credit for the amount of study I've done to get to this point. I don't give myself enough credit for the amount of work that I actually have done to get to where I am today. But it has become an uphill battle that I have just become tired of. See, it's been about six, seven months ago when all of this kicked off. It was after my manager left the job and uh, there was a uh, there was a call I made about some code changes and I couldn't believe the amount of drama that went into that. It was just I love those trusts between some team members that just wasn't there and I got promoted in the middle of it all as well. I remember being in the room with my stand in manager at the time being told we only hire people who we want to work with. didn't make me feel any better. I I, I was happy, like a, a little bit after the promotion, remember calling my parents about it. But it's almost like it added more weight. Like I almost felt like I would have been happier staying with the expectations of having not been promoted. And what that means. <sighs> One of the biggest problems I have with myself right now is that I do not know what I want to do with my life. I don't know where I want to extract meaning for my life. I don't know where to find that either. But I will damn fucking well take that and split my paycheck in half because it means being happy. Apologize to, for the squinting. It's just a something that I do, I guess, when I'm anxious. Man, I never, I never thought I'd, I never thought I'd be here. <laughs> you know, I think back to uh, just like a few years back, uh, uh, I'm like, I'm looking over here. I've got these pictures of uh, the dinner we did when I when I left McAfee to join the job I'm on now. Boy howdy, boy howdy. If I had known 
what it was going to lead to. Would never have left. Well, you know, it would have come with its own struggles. I wouldn't have been able to save as much money. But, I mean, fucking hell. If it would have meant waiting another two years or so to be able to buy a house. I'm in no better, I'm in no better sp spot now, really. I, I've got the money, but, like, man... I may end up making this an unlisted video I share with my friends. Um, not, not sure yet. This will be very unedited. Um, to uh, to Thomas, uh, Yoran, Ozzy, Ali, Sid. Might have already said Sid. If I did, sorry. <laughs> Uh, Robbie, um, you know, everyone in the therapist chat, Tay, um, send this to, send this to my friend, Steve. Hey, Steve. Um, I'll send it to Maybe a couple of other friends of mine. I don't, I don't know. Maybe I won't even. Maybe I won't even post this. I don't know. You know, my dad taught about me making a career shift to being an automation engineer. You know, you can uh, you can automate systems in pharmaceutical plants, or makes drugs, and it could be pretty cool. Um, I have no confidence in myself at the moment. I have zero confidence in myself at the moment. I can't believe, I cannot believe. That the, the, this job had this profound of an effect on me. I work on an open, uh, you know what? I, I even spoke about this for nearly 20 minutes into this video. I even spoke about, I work as a software engineer for the Kube, for the Nginx Kubernetes ingress controller. And I don't even know what half of the stuff does, dude, at this point. You know, there's like a certain amount of time when you've worked on something that people might expect that you would be able to know and understand certain components of the process. And I do. But not, I don't, not enough. Or else I'm just like constantly on edge about how much I feel I should know. I um. I also didn't feel like I didn't do a great job of like cr creating connections or relations between other products, and I just get stuck into my own work and. I missed a lot of opportunities, dude. I'm so tired every day for the last several months. I've just been tired. My eyes are in the back of my head and it's not getting better.
I've got so much of my life ahead of me. So much. There's so much I could choose to do. So many experiences I could choose to create. But I don't know if my my spirit is here in front of a computer. I think I think really that like a lot of this for me started down this trajectory when COVID kicked off. At least for me, I felt like I wasn't able to create great or the best connections with everyone I don't know man I don't know what to do. Well, maybe I'm sitting here trying to make the right decision too hard. Try to make the decision. Oh, shit. Blah, blah. Trying to make the decision that. I think is going to you know I, I guess make others happy I'm more concerned about my own happiness at the moment I worry that if I go into a job like becoming a barista that uh, you know I, I I just worry if I don't enjoy it or that um people are enjoying me you know I came across this YouTube video earlier it was uh, from a YouTube channel called dry dry Creek Wrangler school the video was called just rest it's talking about people who were you know if you're physically exhausted emotionally or mentally exhausted take a rest book the intention of getting back into the burden that you chose I chose to be a software engineer this is my burden uh, it sometimes feels like I'm just like giving up on that burden with the way I am at the moment it's hard to tell I, I took um I took sick leave. It's going to be two, maybe three weeks. Seeing the doctor tomorrow about it to get the note. See my therapist the day after. I don't know if I'd re if I'd be able to return to to be honest. It's very funny ever since uh ever since all this happened it'd be the occasional not occasional but like even just today on uh was it today fm radio 
they were talking about people who made like these massive career shifts and they were in their 40s and i'm just like christ here i am 32 comfortably living with my parents and i'd say they want nothing more than just to see me find something that's going to give me joy like just to just to be happy i haven't been happy have not been happy for for a while and i think about when i'm the happiest i get joy out of other people being joyful i am very reciprocal to other people's emotions if someone else is happy, I'm, I can usually be happy. If someone else is sad, I find myself sad. It might say, man, you're very fucking influenced by other people. Maybe I fucking am. Maybe I'm just empathetic. Maybe I can feel like I can relate. Anytime someone's talking about something, I feel like I can, I usually feel like I can relate to them. I wondered if working as a barista would just allow me to just have interesting conversations with people about coffee. I love coffee. I don't know a whole lot about it. I ordered the World Atlas of Coffee book. Actually, that's supposed to arrive today. I think I'll read that book. This is another, actually, this is a, a very good segue to like another thing that I'm thinking about. I'm awful at remembering things which i know you might argue the human brain isn't made for like remembering again like most stuff but like like if you read a book and there's like an interesting point about it or whatever I, like like as a software engineer see all those oh, all right see all those books behind me like the code books i fucking hardly read any of those the code book i don't think one i've even opened these are things I think back if I like really early in my career, if I just decided to go into those, if I'd known that it was going to be like this, I would have, would have read those books, but I don't know, maybe they got did, maybe they wouldn't have helped the situation at all. I have to admit, it feels really nice to talk about this this way right now, rather than talking to someone. I've been talking to people for a long time, and I'm kind of just hoping I can grasp some semblance of groundedness out of all of this i used to go to the gym three days a week i think i went once last week and twice a week before i haven't gone this week of course It's very interesting looking at myself and talking to myself like this. How droopy my eyes are, how just super just down I am right now. I just don't want to do the struggle. It doesn't, it's just not fueling my heart. That's the funny thing is I've actually been sleeping okay. I usually sleep pretty fine. I, uh, I've always thought about why I did anything. 
I realize a lot of the times I like to just show things to people. And, you know, like I almost always tell someone what I'm doing just to, just to hear what they think about it. You know, I try to think of how often I did something just because I wanted to do it. I guess, you know, getting into, you know, coffee brewing. That was fun. I really took it too far past the error press. I think about it. I had to try a couple of other, a couple of other brewers. It was fun. Experiment. Never did do that cupping. One though, to like really dial in what kind of coffee I like. I think that's like a drawback to my personality sometimes. I, I there's very little things in this world that I hate. I usually just like I can, I can usually just enjoy anything. It's kinda how I've gotten this far, I feel. I'm just like the kind of guy that's like, yeah, I can just like I can just find the good and enjoyment and excitement in just about anything that I do. At least I did. Haven't been able to do that for a little while. I just don't feel like me anymore. Just, just, just don't feel like me anymore. seem to get excited can't can't seem to get excited This feels like a sad end to a life, doesn't it? Not physically, but like emotionally. If you're one of my friends, relatives, anyone who sees this, um, please know. I'm not going to do anything. I, I, um, uh, you know what I mean when I say that, right? It's not where I am right now. I feel a little aimless in my life. I feel just a little aimless. And I'm trying to find out what I can target in my life. Five years from now, where do I want to be? You know, what are the things I want to be able to do so that five years from now I can be at that place, but I just don't know what that place is. Like, I know tomorrow, and the day after, and the day after that, and the day after that, and the day after that, 
I'm going to feel like this. The idea that we said would fucking spur me into action, man. But it doesn't. Because I do not have a target. I do not have a target. I am tired. There's more in me now. There's more in this life for me. I just need to accept at the moment that I just need help. Maybe working at just some lower end job for, for, for a while might be exactly what I need for my soul. Yeah, it was the, uh, <laughs> <sighs> the comfortable hours I have at the moment, but everything's going to come with its cons. Just trying to enjoy each day at the moment. Makes it like I'm dying. Everyone thought about, you know, visualize. It's the kind of person you would want people to remember you by. Like, what do you want to be remembered for? Maybe I don't give myself enough reminders about that. I don't know. I just feel like I'm running out of gas, dude. just have no energy at the moment. I need to I need to make a shift. I need to make it I just something needs to change. I need I need to have way to find excitement. I need to, I need to, I need to bring myself back.
Oh my god. I I've been sitting here for forty minutes rambling. Get a Sean of the future to forty year old me. I hope you're enjoying the house. Middleton, I've heard, is a really nice area to live in. We drove down there. My parents drove down there. Uh, we shot a Lakeview place. That might, that might end up being the place we stay if you're in Lakeview. Fuck yeah. Welcome to Lakeview. your family as well you'd make a good father you would you would you'd make a good father you'd support your by any fucking means necessary You're a good person, Sean. You're a good person, Sean. <laughs> 